Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Monday, April 22nd, 2024. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Monday, everyone. Before we get to the charts, I do want to remind you today is Pivot Boss Masters Live Sessions Day. Today, we begin our five day live sessions week of training for the Camarilla Equation and our new Camarilla Pivots Indicator and Signals. For those of you who are Pivot Boss Masters members, you'd want to go to this link right here, pivotbossmasters.com forward slash masters dash training. Do the hashtag live here and it'll send you right to the live sessions. Uh, click on this link right there and you jump right into the webinar uh, immediately. And down here you'll see this is where uh, the various topics will be held here, 3 o'clock p.m. Central here, tomorrow 10 a.m., 3 o'clock on Wednesday, 8.30 on, on Thursday, and 10 a.m. on Friday. And you can see the various topics here as well. So for those of you who are Pivot Boss Masters, go to your Masters dashboard, hit the hashtag live here, and you'll jump right into this zone right here where you can actually uh, be a part of the webinar. Now, if you're not a part of Pivot Boss Masters, there's still time to join. Go to pivotbossmasters.com forward slash profits and you'll be able to get more additional information about Pivot Boss Masters. You'll also have uh, the option here of gaining instant access here with this button right here, get instant access. You can learn more about Pivot Boss Masters, a ton of on-demand training content from core training to proprietary training, all of our Pivot Boss proprietary indicators and tools, lifetime access to all of our current training, lifetime access to all future training as well, a 100% money back guarantee. There's bonuses included as well. And uh, again, by hitting this button right here, you get instant access and you can jump into this week's live training for the Camarilla Equation. So uh, if you're not part of Pivot Boss Masters, there's no better time to join than now. For those of you who are part of Pivot Boss Masters, hit the link here and you'll be able to jump into the webinar here later on this afternoon. Looking forward to it this week. All right, let's take a look here at the charts. Here's the daily time frame of the ES. We've seen uh, perhaps the most bearish week in the previous week that we've seen since October of 2023 before we had a uh, spectacular Q4 rally and Q1 rally. Uh, this breakdown here occurred out of this narrow range. It broke through the previous month's midpoint and took us directly to the previous quarter's mid. So from this high to this midpoint, we've already seen the market give back half, half of Q1 gains in, uh, in basically half of one month. That's a huge pullback. We've seen this thing really drop over the last week and seen a little bit of early pullback. Uh, or a bounce here to begin the week that could be bearish you know to see downtrending price action any bump any strength could be seen as an opportunity for bears to defend for another round of weakness ahead is this thing going to break through 5,000 and continue to extend these losses into the next LVN below that could be ahead uh, the next LVN 4850 would be that next downside target so any pullback could be seen as an opportunity for bears to defend for a continued downside price discovery into the next CLVM below 4850. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the previous week, a high range week, this week could start more range bound, but with a downward bias. Could go range bound with a downward bias. We do have earnings coming up as well. GDP later on in the week. That could get things started for even more volatility as the week progresses. Uh, if we take a look here at the NQ, the NQ right now up marginally as well. Uh, low range days for these markets at the moment. ES and NQ both trading 35% of average range at the moment. Look at this week that just transpired. From that previous week's high there to this previous week's low, that is a massive stretch for the NQ, the biggest down week in a good long while. Uh, again, when you have that much stretch of the price range there, you tend to see some range bound price action with a downward bias until proven otherwise. This market finally made it to the 17.2 key level that I talked about before, that if this market breaks a previous month's midpoint, we're likely headed to 17.2. Uh, this one did break the previous month's mid here. 
broke the previous month's low there and is well through the previous quarter's midpoint. So we've given back more than half of the Q1 gains. And uh, from last week's low of 17,113, we're less than 1,000 points, uh, about 800 points away from the previous, mo uh, previous quarter's low. So that's a massive, massive give back of the Q1 gains. Again, any pullback could be seen as a selling opportunity as this market looks to go make that 16.3 key level below. If we take a look here at the YM, the YM did have quite the bounce on the Friday. It just missed out on the previous quarter's lows. So it has nearly gone outside quarter down after a bullish quarter to start Q1 here and start 2024. You can see the low here coming in at 37.463. This low right here is 37,300, so it missed it by about 160 points. Uh, we're now seeing a pullback here, and prices are currently above the Friday highs. It's actually above the Thursday through Friday highs at the moment. Keep an eye on the previous session's highs. There, if there's any failure into that zone, or if prices above that zone here, we could be looking at a pullback into the previous session's mid and recent support lows. So right now we have kind of this little trading range that's developed right here. And if we're going to fail uh, at prices above the high, you start to rotate back within the range. The other thing we're doing right now is we're seeing this price test a bearish Pima trigger zone. So we've now developed a bearish Pima trigger zone here after having the bullish uh, trigger zone this entire way which means any pullback is a buying opportunity until proven otherwise. This market is now proven otherwise with its failure at all of these various levels. And now the first pullback into this zone could be seen as a selling opportunity uh, again until this trend changes back to the upside. So right now, strong low here that's just shy of the previous quarter's low. We could be looking at a push into that low up ahead. Let's take a look here at crude oil crude right now uh, continuing to hold overall within the uptrending channeling, channeling behavior here. This structure has been in play for a good long while. Uh, Friday, massive, massive turnaround from those overnight highs and uh, we're now sitting at these lows. This is a, a nice spot here for bulls to keep an eye on. Two day lows and price popping back above those lows. The 81.15 zone is the previous lows there. Uh, if price can continue to hold above that zone, we could begin to see a little bit of a walk back here, perhaps back to the previous midpoint of the previous session there. Overall, this market continues to trend higher, but it's doing so at a very moderate pace. It's not just running off with this thing. Geopolitical events around the world here could keep prices uh, trending higher overall, uh, but again, it's doing so at its own pace right now. Uh, keep an eye on 80 bucks. 80 is going to be the major key level to watch here. Any pullback even as deep as 80 could still be a buying opportunity for a swing continuation to the upside. Lastly here, gold futures. Gold super, super strong overall is pulling back here to begin the week. Quite a bit of selling pressure here to begin the week already. But this is selling pressure within range. As we noted before, we're not likely going to see a huge meltdown of price after embarking on such a, a very strong, high-intensity bullish trend. But we could see this market go sideways for a while here in a, in a nice compression before we see the next rip to the upside. So right now, seeing a little bit of weakness here. Uh, not expecting this thing to really fall much lower the 23.35, 23.38 zone could provide support down below if we start getting a little bit lower than 50. But overall, uh, still inside the range today could be a, a, a down a day. Tomorrow could be an up a day as this market trades within this range. Again, with an upward bias working its way toward 24.80. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out the rest of the session. It's Masters Week. Very excited about that. Looking forward to seeing you all at 3 o'clock p.m. Central. Take care, and I'll see you in the room.